we're live. So we got this brand new setup up in this, this, this bit. Uh, we got a brand new setup. Can we, can we curse on YouTube or no? I think you can do whatever yeah, yeah. you want. You can do whatever you want. All right. Um, so we got the new setup here. I think we got some some new mics. A little um, globe, a little moon. A little globe. We got some plants because you know plants are good for the environment. Even though I think these are fake. We 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 definitely need to like paint this shit maybe do graffiti on this yeah, wall have, have, have a little better a little, setup. little backdrop add some some uh some character to this some podcast character to this no, it's just it's just white with some fucking christmas lights on this table <laughs> with a moon but we'll, we'll make it work yeah we got dent- we got the dentist office feel on here yep it's all good it's all good so this is episode three i believe we have young jo- young johnny young johnny in the back you can't see him but he's over there um and this episode, we, we just kind of were discussing what to talk about beforehand because we always want to bring you a topic or something that we think could be beneficial to you. So we, we are speaking about multiple streams of income versus a single stream of income. What is better? Yeah. What is worse? I guess, I mean, there's not better or worse, but there, there could be arguments yeah. for both sides. So uh, I'm actually going to let Richard get started here. So... What do you for? Let me ask you just so I know your take of that. I didn't even ask you before. Do you, do you like multiple or do you, do you like to diversify or do you like to concentrate on one? And then whatever you say, I'll go against you. Even though I have my topic, but I don't want it to be boring. Okay, okay. So, what do, what do you what so, do you like better? Um, you know, and I and I find I'm actually like I find that this this does happen with us. Um, for those who don't know, Richard and I have been. In business together for like three years now so we i mean we've been through it we've had a single stream of income like as a business we've done other things other projects and um i always like to focus on one single thing mm-hmm. um or at least at the time of like whenever we're trying to do something i i you know i want to give it like full attention mm-hmm. um so I guess I'll, I'll argue that point. Okay. But I mean, again, they're, they're, everything's everything's good, you know? So you like to focus on one stream. Okay, so Laz is going to talk about one stream and I'm going to talk about multiple streams. I actually like multiple streams of income. I thought Laz was going to like that too. I think it's better because um, when one falls, you can still depend on another one to make you money. Obviously, well, not obviously, because if you're really good, then you can have all of them maxed out and um, you know they say that the the average millionaire has seven streams of income, not one stream of income. That's, so that's another big thing there. Um, I think you have to be diversified, man. In anything that you do, like whenever I, I went to school for finance, that's like the first thing they taught us. You have to be diversified. Like you don't just want to have all your eggs in one basket. Like there's so many things I can pull up. Having all your eggs in one basket, investing in just one stock versus having a portfolio of stocks. So I know that some people do argue the one stream of income. But I definitely think multiple is a lot better. You're all, you're diversified. Um, you're you're never. It's a lot easier to manage your money as well because you, yeah, you will have um downtrends. You always have downtrends in business, but you get me like when one goes down, the other one goes up. And sometimes when they're all up, then you're partying. When yeah. when they're all down, that's like that's that's shitty. When they're all down, we and we've experienced all of them being down, and mm-hmm. th- that's like really shitty. Mm-hmm. Really shitty months for us, at least. Yeah. But wh- why do you think that having one stream is better than multiple streams? Okay, so, um, you and you said something that was a really good, a really good, uh, a really good point. That if you're really good, this could be really good. But talking about the average Joe, someone who you know maybe has never started business, someone mm-hmm. who is just getting started and whatever it is that they want to do. Um, and I see it all the time with with even our students. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, I'm trying Amazon. I'm trying I'm trying uh, uh, Shopify. I'm trying a uh, social media marketing agency. It's like, oh, how's that going for you? Oh no, like I, I you know, I'm not making money, but like this and that. It's like, yeah, man, I know why you're not making money because you're trying to do 101 things at the same time. Mm-hmm. So I think if you're good, yeah, if you're someone who can like is very good at maybe hiring a team, being able to delegate tasks. Or if you're good at someone who can multitask really well, then I think multiple streams are good. But I think it's really hard to, to get to a level where all your streams are producing. And um, well, but but no one starts off with multiple streams of income. No, like you, of course, you always, everyone starts with one. But I'm arguing the point where when you have one that's working, then you should definitely have start move on to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. Yeah, and and I I think also to to 
go to that point and there's been there's been times there's been times because we, we've been through it all there's been times where we've had one uh one stream that's doing well and then we're like let's try this and let's try let's try something else mm -hmm. and what ends up happening is that the first one the one that was working well actually just shits itself yeah that so, has happened so again it's it's part of it being you know you have to be very good at you know now we're, we're able to diversify because we have a team we have we have a team to help us with you know with our e-com stores we have a team to help us with like our programs where we teach people what we do um so there's separate you know there's systems in place but if you're just starting out i i would always suggest you know whatever you're gonna do give it your 100 percent attention and just focus on one thing there's right. a lot of ways to make money online um today that you know there's a lot of things that work it is you know that it, it there, you have so many options. You just mm -hmm. have to focus on one thing. Because if you're doing a, if you're dabbling in a bunch of different areas, chances are yeah. that it's gonna be really hard for you to, you know, break through. Uh, as opposed, to if you're just focusing on one thing and you're really figuring out how that one system works, it, it's just you know laser focus. Having laser focus, where are you putting in your energy? If you're spreading yourself out too thin, it's gonna be harder for you to like make anything work. But but you can also argue though. When we started, we had multiple streams of income. We didn't do one thing. We we worked. So we, oh, we, we had our, we had our nine to five jobs and then we were also doing e-commerce. So well, really we've never only had one stream of income. I, I don't know about you, but I like my job was specifically for like, I was just getting money and literally just throwing yeah. money into the business. Yeah. It, was, it was like, I, I made some money at my, my job working as an engineer. I would get that money and put it right into ads. Yeah. But it was still multiple streams of income because we were making money with, with ads and with, with e-commerce. And I think, I think a lot of people like. It, it honestly depends on your situation, but like if, if you're if you're starting out and you have a thousand dollars saved and you go a thousand percent into e-commerce or whatever it is that you're gonna do online and you don't have like a backup plan, you can really find yourself in a tough situation. And we've seen it with some of our students where yeah. they're like, "Hey, I quit my job. I'm going all in before they even have anything working." So I think that you have to you need something working to even get into like. To, to say, oh, I'm only going to have one stream of income. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, like, they try to have one stream of income before it's even working, and then they just, everything goes to shit yeah. when, that, when that thing goes to shit. Yeah. Or, like, they think they have something stable. And this happened to us where we were selling um we, we were selling pipes at one point on Facebook. <laughs> so we thought we had a, a we thought we had a, a, a good stream of income and until Facebook comes we and shuts you down. We thought we had a business. Yeah, yeah, until yeah. Facebook comes and shuts you down. So that's why, I don't know, I'm, I'm I, 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 was, I was always taught in school really to have multiple streams always um wherever whatever it is that you're doing whether you're investing in stocks whether it's your business um to always have multiple streams like like think about it we never advise anyone to quit their jobs before e-commerce is working for them yeah so i mean I, yeah we we yeah we're, we're like the we're like the few because i i like there's there's people in in the industry mm -hmm. people who like do what you know so like uh products digital products courses stuff like that um tony robbins perfect example i think one of one of his famous quotes is um the best way to take the island is to burn the boats so like don't give yeah. yourself don't give yourself a plan b make whatever it is that you want to do make it your plan a and that's your only plan um because if not you always have that little thought in the back of your mind it's like oh but like you know what if this doesn't work like i can always go back to this yeah. what if this the, it's like it's like there's no what if like you have to make it work or you're or like you have to make it work dude i don't know i think it's it's so easy to say that and then he's not he's not held responsible when people actually do that and then 100%. They, people fucking get into debt and then they can't pay their bills because yeah. they burned the boats or whatever the fuck it is that he was saying and i mean i like tony robbins i really do but i think it's really easy to start to say all those motivational shits to people but then like they get hit with the reality stick and then that's when they're like shit what, what did i do yeah. but a, a lot of the times and you see it with like like a lot of the big companies that have come mm -hmm. out, like it all comes down to at some point, these guys, they had to take, or guys or girls, they had to take a leap of faith. They had oh, to, yeah. you know, like um, Apple or Facebook or whatever. Like they, they weren't like, oh, I'm going to do this job and I have this side project. They just kind of like, they went all in on whatever they were yeah. you know, trying to build. And, and a lot, I mean, most of the big success stories is because they just like, they took that leap of faith and they just yeah. kind of like left everything behind and just... You know, the way but, they started, it was but, shit, but... But I think it's timing, too. Like, you can't go all in in the beginning, either. Like, that's what a lot of these guys preach. They're like, oh, you gotta... Whatever it is that you're doing, you gotta go all in. But how can how can you really go all in? Like, think... Of, like, when we started, it was easy to go all in. 
we didn't have yeah we didn't have a f- like a family to take care yeah. of kids we didn't have like bills yeah we like, didn't have bills so like it's it's easy to go all in at that point in your life but what if like like think of like your parents for example yeah. like can your dad right now quit his yeah. job and go all in into like yeah and that's where that's that's it's like circumstances affect yeah it's like very situational um sometimes it pays off that that's you know that that's where people fuck up all the time in timing it's all about timing because honestly what tony robbins says like oh burn the the boats dude think about it like that that can apply to us yeah like we can burn all the boats and go into one thing right now and we're capable of doing that but like what if like we were to say that to one of our students that doesn't really apply to them like hey quit your job burn the boats and 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 do this full time i would never say that to someone yeah and um no yeah it's, it's situational i i mean i personally like if, if you have a family if you have you know people who depend yeah. on you for for you know for life mm-hmm. like if you're responsible for like a child or something yeah. I, I wouldn't 100 percent. i wouldn't be like oh yeah just burn the boats and whatever maybe your child doesn't have anything to eat next month like that's yeah like i would mm-hmm. never advise advise that in fact like usually when we when Lewis, who's who like who's our enrollment director whenever he talks to people who are interested in like starting e-commerce or whatever it may be he you know and he's like oh how much money do you know do you have put away do you have savings like how much money yeah. like do you have a family like how much is like your monthly like cost mm-hmm. if it's someone who's like barely scraping by like yeah we like, usually don't sell them the yeah, course yeah. It's, it's it's usually like yeah. look, try to get some free information try to like do right, things on your yeah. own and then if you start making some money then that would be a good time for you to like yeah. invest dude it's just i don't feel comfortable taking those people's money no, no. i really don't because i know that they're that it's not gonna do them and you know you know what what's weird not weird but that one of our one of our best students carlos he yeah he yeah he, he actually was forty thousand dollars in debt and we told him to not buy our course he bought it and he ended up selling a million dollars so that's, like i don't even know if i should say like i don't feel comfortable but i i think that's like a an outlier that doesn't yeah. happen like out of every 20 people maybe one yeah maybe that, that'll happen to one person that that um and i mean so here, here's the thing like you can apply that you can say like oh look this is a perfect example um this is a perfect example as to like why you should like just go all in on something um sure there are success stories those are the ones that everyone hears about no one's yeah. gonna tell you all oh, like i went all in and then i failed like that that's yeah, not gonna make course. any that's not gonna no, make that, any, that's any what headlines. all like, that's what all the gurus say yeah. they'll get carlos and they'll be like look this guy was forty thousand dollars in debt yeah. and now he's making shit millions. that's what we that's what we do <laughs> yeah like we're like oh yeah, yeah look at the yeah. carlos is great yeah but i mean and and realistically like uh like it the there is the possibility and and like you know you have to have hope in whatever it is that you do you're not gonna go into something and be like oh yeah no, shit, of course. Like, i'm not gonna yeah. make money like because at that point you're really not gonna make money you're 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 starting off with the, the wrong mentality yeah but um you always have to keep that in mind you know like if you have to provide for a family i, I and i see it with my parents right like mm-hmm. I, I know for a fact like my mom like she she was a dentist in cuba mm-hmm. and when she came to the u.s like she could have like studied to be a dentist, but she chose not to because she's like, you know, I have a family. I want to make sure I, I take I take care of my kids. This is not like this. This is like where my priorities stand. Right. Not to say that one thing is better or worse than the other. Yeah. It's just it all comes down to your priorities. What What are your priorities at at, at a given time? Um, but yeah, I, I've seen I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it from both sides. Yeah, it's all and it's all again. I think it's all timing. I think like we can kind of guide people and tell them what we do and sell them the program and then they can make money but it's all about timing like i think our best students just timed things better than other people so like they quit their jobs at the right time they they put a little bit more money in at the right time but like some people are are like in in ten thousand dollars in debt and then they put in another another like two thousand dollars and then like i don't think that timing is is good i think that you need to be you need to be stable i'm more of like I like to scale hard on stuff, but I also like stability. Like I, I like to be stable with everything that we do and very calculated. I think when people are not calc and dude, I don't know. Sometimes when, when I say things, I'm like, shit, am I actually saying the, the correct thing? Because I'm very calculated, but we know people who are not calculated at all. And sometimes shit just works for them. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes shit just like ends up working for them. They just like go like, fuck it. We're going to go out and we're going to do this. Boom. And it blows up and they make a shitload of money. And then they, they, the next five things they do, only one works. But the one that worked like takes care of the other four that didn't work. So it, it all, it, and it, again, it all depends on your current situation, your timing, how much money you have in the bank. It, it There's too many factors yeah. to like, dude, that's why we, I don't, 
I don't know. I don't really like doing a lot of motivational shit because a lot of that motivational shit is just like too, like you, you're talking to a general public as if you were like, but really it's only going to apply to like a few people. Like, I don't think you can really generalize. You can really be a motivational speaker, a, a general motiva- motivational speaker, because I think people's situations are just too different for you to do that. Yeah, I think, I think the motivation thing is like, you're just trying to hit like one person at like a, at the right time so exactly yeah, yeah like yeah, like yeah. You, you're trying to just make a difference in like that one person that just had to hear like that one thing yeah and then they just said it and then it all, all of a sudden it clicked for them and they're like oh shit this is me right now i should do this um again it's not for everyone but yeah. i think uh i think that's kind of like where things lie definitely so I don't know. So, so what, what do you think? Going back to the topic, then multiple or or single? Like, would you rather? Would you rather make? Okay, so let me put it to you this way. I'm gonna give you a good question. Would you rather make a million dollars with one business, or would you rather make seven hundred thousand dollars with seven businesses? Wait, seven hundred thousand dollars with seven businesses, or one million dollars with one business? What would you? Because I, I would take the oh, seven hundred thousand with oh, seven like businesses yeah. because I know that if one goes down, I'm make I'm still making six hundred thousand. But with the one, if that one goes down, you're making zero. So what? Yeah. What would you rather? That's tough. That's tough. Um. Well, and again, here here's the thing. I I think I mean I'm all for diversification. I don't want you to think that I'm like no diversification is bad. I just think that. If you want things to grow and if you want things to get uh, to get better, you mm-hmm. have to give it some sort of undivided attention. I think if you do too many things at once, you're like setting yourself like you're you're like setting yourself short. Like um, like so those, those businesses that are generating the seven hundred or one hundred thousand mm-hmm. each. Could those be better if you yeah, were to devote more but, time? But to them? once you have the structure, you just hire more people and it'll make them better. Right, but that's already changing. That's already like taking no, no. a step further. Well, yeah, but you're still diversifying. It, it's all in, it all goes down to diversification. Like just because you diversify doesn't mean that you can't hire more people. Like like you you can still grow diversified businesses. Like they can go from a hundred to two hundred. Uh, maybe obviously, like I think what happens is that the growth will be slower. It'll be slower because you're trying to grow more things at the same time, but you're still growing. Yeah. Uh, like the one business will grow faster. It will. Yeah. Like maybe it'll grow like even ten times faster, yeah. but there's just like like the, it has more risk. Yeah. It, it, it's all it's all like what you want, right? Like if you want if you're willing to take more risks to make that money, then then sure. I'm just willing to take less risk. Yeah. I'm, I like real estate. Yeah. I like stocks with dividend yields. It's all yeah. low risk shit yeah. that you still make money. Yeah. I just don't want to be in a situation one day where you're like, where like literally like it can go from like having everything to having nothing if you have one company. Dude, yeah. think about it. Uh, I don't know. You're selling some shit. Uh, Facebook comes shuts you down, or you get fucking sued by the, by the attorney general, and then you're you're shit out of luck. Yeah. Like it's like literally like a law changes. Like you're only drop shipping from China. Trump gets elected. Boom. Now there's a forty percent tax rate where you can't fucking ship from China. Like there's yeah. so many things that can go wrong. That like I'm not. There's a lot of. It's called default risk. It's like the the risk of your business defaulting because some shit happens, and it's like really high when you only have one business. So that's why I don't like. I like to be like really well like a well-rounded individual i don't like to really like specialize only on one thing i think i think that that works once you have things that are already like doing well um again i mean again it's it's a it's a timing thing it's like if if you're just starting out i don't recommend anybody to start seven different businesses Mm -hmm. and try to get them all up and running because you you won't get anything Mm -hmm. up and running um but if you have a business that's doing really well and you want to like you know start something else i think and and here's the thing if if you if you want to diversify your your income or what you're doing mm-hmm. i think that that one business that's doing really well for a, for a second where you're going to start going into other business you're gonna have to stop giving that business attention so you're gonna have to have the systems in place the team everything has to be good with that one business mm-hmm. so that you could dedicate your attention to whatever it is that you want to grow yeah um going forward so so in a way, I mean, but like, yeah. are, are you willing to take that risk then of like putting your attention on on another business to diversify? Oh, I mean, I I would like it. It depends too. It's not like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like put my like I'm not gonna start doing things like 
and I've seen it too, like where people are just like, oh, look at this, check out Amazon, check out this, check out that. And like, if you start like, oh, looking at all the yeah. butterflies. Well, like, yeah, I mean, too much of anything is bad. Yeah. Like, I think too much diversification could be bad, but I think just to write them out is better than just having one. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what is it? You can. 20, 20 minutes. We're at 20 minutes? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, we gotta, we gotta wrap this for a while. So yeah, we'll wrap uh, it up. I guess, I guess to just state some final, final, I think if you want, if you want to like have something do well, you have to laser focus whatever it is that you're doing, and kind of focus on the strengths. And I, 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 I like we've seen it a lot, a lot of the times. Like sometimes we get distracted by like little mm-hmm. things here and there, and if we like focus on like stuff that's doing really well for us, mm-hmm. I think like it, it just it just speeds speeds up the process of us like you know doing like it just exponentially speeds up the process of us doing well yeah um again but diversification is always something you want to do again like with ads when you're running ads you don't want to be just running one type of ad because again like something comes around they they turn off your ads guess what you're you're stuck you want to be able to Mm -hmm. put your eggs in like put don't put all your eggs in one basket you want to be able to diversify so i don't think it's bad or worse, I just think that when you're starting, you have to be laser focused in whatever it is that you do mm-hmm. and not get distracted by different things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's good to diversify very strategically and, and planned. I think if you do a, strate- uh, a strategic diversification and a planned one, it's like it's a good recipe for success. That, that's what I think. Um, so, yeah. Guys in the comments, yeah, you or, guys can, I don't you know, guys can let yeah, us I don't know, know where this think. is going, but let us know yeah. what you guys think. When we read through them, Lazo yeah. was actually reading all the comments. Yeah, some people that's were on saying, YouTube. If you if yeah. if you guys see this on YouTube, on YouTube then yeah, yeah, you can comment. <laughs> if it's on Apple Podcast or wherever podcast, um, yeah. you you probably won't be able to comment, but you can go on YouTube and comment there if you if you if your soul desires. Yep. We um, read the comments. I mean, yeah. we we have some good comments. Some people saying that we run ads that we're that we're like Apple. Yeah, we're Apple and we're and we're college dropouts. And we're college high dropouts. Dropout. Yeah, we're actually, I don't know, um, we're actually not either high school or college dropouts. Uh, mm. we, we never say that we were. I don't know where the fuck they got that from. Yeah, that's uh, that's <laughs> some misguided information. But yeah, we actually read we 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 read the comments. We we sit there and we read the comments. So comment. Let us know what you guys think. Do you think it's better to be diversified or have a, a single business? Um, right diversified or not not diversified and then um let us know what you guys think about the whole timing thing i think that was a big take yeah. from this that it's all like a timing it's all about timing it's all about yeah, not situation. diversifying too much very situational yeah. um yeah. so yeah i don't know I, can you do the thing where you say to like comment subscribe yeah so ding the bell thing yeah. on youtube <laughs> <laughs> ding the bell on youtube ding so the bell. you can get all the notifications <laughs> yeah um yeah guys so we're just gonna wrap this up uh like comment subscribe on youtube if you are on Apple Podcasts, you can subscribe to us. You can tell your friends about this. We're going to be doing it every week. Now that our boy Johnny is back, and he's, he's back for good, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, Johnny, Johnny's a rapper. Shout out to Johnny Say. Um, but yeah, guys. Dude, we're going to start putting Johnny songs in all these podcasts yeah. because... Yeah, Johnny, you should actually introduce and, and like do the outro with like, like wow. your song. That, that would be that would be dope. That would be cool, bro. We've always told you to put that yeah. shit on all of our ads. Yeah, so you like guys, we're always you guys using can, the non copyrighted music when we can. Yeah, freaking Johnny music. Use Requiem Ten. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's 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 about it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you got anything, any value from it, share with a friend. Let them know what you guys are listening to, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great blessed day. Um. That's about it. We're cutting yep. it here. All right.